Okay, so good morning students. So come to today's class. So today's class, I will uh, start your uh, class from the exercise 18.2 question number 7. Okay, so very very important question. Question number 7 is, Sunidhi bought some butter cookies at 9 for rupees 10. Again, she bought same number of coconut cookies at 11 for rupees 10. Okay, if she sells all the cookies at 10 for rupees 10, find her gain or loss person. So in this question, actually, the number of butter cookies and the number of coconut cookies are not given to us. The main thing is given to us that uh, she bought uh, same number of butter cookies and same number of coconut cookies. And after that, she actually <coughs> uh, sells all the cookies at, the, at one rate. Okay, that means at first she so Nidhi bought some butter cookies, uh, butter cookies at 9 for rupees. That means 9, the rate is 9 butter, cost of 9, CP of 9 is rupees 10. Okay, this is actually butter cookies. Cost of 9 butter cookies is rupees 10. Similarly, in case of coconut, uh, cost of 11 butter cookies is rupees rupees 10 okay at first is given that uh, same number of actually same number of butter cookies and same number of coconut cookies okay amount of uh, cookies are not given to us but the relation is given to us that means uh, cost uh, cost of 9 butter cookies is rupees 10 at the rate of this one okay again cost of 11 cookies rupees 10 okay after that <coughs> see Take all the uh, butter cookies and coconut cookies together, sell at rupees uh, 10 at rupees 10. 10 at rupees 10. Okay, so in, in the whole ten, uh, transaction, we have to find that will be gain or loss percent. Okay, so given given. What is given? Uh, Sunidhi. Given. Sunidhi bought, bought some butter cookies. Some butter cookies at 9 for rupees 10. At 9 for rupees for rupees 10. That means. That means in 10 rupees she can buy 9 butter cookies. It is not given that she buy 9 butter cookies or uh, 18 or 27 etc. It is given that uh, she bought some butter cookies but the rate is at rupees 10 she will uh, she can buy 9 butter cookies. Okay. So that means therefore CP of 9 butter cookies. Rupees 10. So therefore, CP that means cost price of one butter cookie. One butter cookie is equal to rupees 10 by 9. You will tell me that. So rupees 10 by 9. That is the cost of one butter cookie. Okay. Clear up to this. I think all of you understand. Okay. <coughs> so now come to the second part. Again, again, Sunidhi bought same number of coconut cookies. Okay, bought same number of. You can take. The number of coins is X also. <coughs> okay. So Sunidhi bought same number of coconut cookies. Coconut cookies, uh, rupees. Coconut cookies uh, at 11 for rupees 10. At 11 for rupees 10. That means in 10 rupees she can buy 11 number of coconut cookies. Okay. So therefore C 
CP of 11 coconut cookies equal to rupees 10. So therefore, CP of 1 coconut cookies, 1 coconut cookie not cookies, 1 coconut cookie divided by rupees 10 by 11 is the this in the end. Time is okay. So now, so now, now we have to find cost price of two. That means one coconut cookies and one butter cookies together. Okay. So now, CP of one. Butter cookie and one coconut cookie, one coconut cookie together. Remember, sum of these two it is ten by nine plus this. Why we add this or why we count the CP of both together because <coughs> the second part of the question is given that C sell both the cookies at the rate of uh, 10 at the rate of rupees 10. Okay, so this is rupees 10 by 9 plus rupees 10 by 11. So whenever you take that LCM of 9 and 11, it becomes 99. So 9 and 9 11 the and then 11, 10, 1, 1, 10 plus 19. So that means it becomes it is 200 by 19. And the CP of CP of 1 coconut cookies and 1 butter cookie put together is this one. Okay. Again. Okay. Given that it is given that okay, it is given that uh, C sells all the cookies at 10 for rupees 10. C sells all the cookies, all the cookies at 10 for. This thing. So that means CP of one cookie, CP of ten cookie. Sorry, not CP. It's SP selling price. Okay. So for SP of SP of ten cookies, SP of ten cookies equal to what? Rupees ten. So therefore, SP of one cookie will be what? Rupees 10 by 10, that means 1. Rupees 10 by 10, that means rupees 1. But we have to find cost uh, selling price of two cookies because already we find uh, cost price of two cookies. Because there are four. Therefore, we can write. Therefore, uh, SP of two cookies together. together you can write all sp of one coconut you can write like this sp of one butter cookie one butter cookie and one coconut cookie one coconut cookie together So one uh, two cookies will be rupees two. So now if we find here rupees uh, this one is CP of two and SP of two is rupees two. Okay. 
So in this case, we find uh, in this case we have, uh, just find in case of two cookies. Okay, that means cost price of two cookies is rupees two hundred by ninety nine, and selling price of that two cookies is rupees ten. So in this case, you have to find now gain or the loss percent. So from the uh, given mark already you. I think all of you understand that this quantity is greater than two because whenever you divide two hundred by ninety nine, ninety nine that is the one ninety eight and two that means zero. That means it becomes uh, a value which is greater than two. That means cost price is greater than two, but selling price is two. That means there will be definitely a loss. Okay, so therefore loss percentage equal to CP minus SP. रिमेनिंग And two dishes, one ninety eight addition remain same. Okay. So now two hundred minus one ninety eight becomes two. So it's ninety nine. Again, addition uh, is two hundred by ninety nine into hundred percent. Okay. Both the denominator. And then we can cancel. So two by two hundred into hundred percent. So zero zero zero. We can cancel two one. So that means one percent. That means in the whole transaction there will be loss of one percent. So we can write uh, find her gain or loss. So therefore, in the whole transaction, in the whole transaction. Sunidhi, Sunidhi. There will be loss of. There is a loss of. There will be loss of one percent. Okay, this one is very important question.